The 10,000 calorie challenge, one of the most popular challenges on the internet. The goal is to forcefully stuff your face with 10,000 calories, usually from junk food. And if you did it in 24 hours, you succeeded. Uh. <laughs> but can you burn 10,000 calories in a day? Trying to burn. 10,000 calories. What do I think about the 10,000, 20,000, 25, and even 50,000 calorie challenges? And what are the consequences just from watching the content? Ah! Now it's time to burn not just the calories, but the whole niche. Starting with this. In the year 2007, a radio station in California organized a water drinking competition, meaning whoever drinks the largest amount of water wins. Not a smart move. Now, the main rule was that you were not allowed to go to the bathroom during the competition. That's why they named the contest Hold Your Wee for a week. Jennifer, I heard that it's not, you're not doing too well. My head hurts. This is what it feels like when you're drowning. There's a lot of water inside of you. Oh, it hurts. And the woman that you've just heard that took part in the competition died. A woman who did that died. But how? So I'll get back to her in a sec. But first, do you see him? On this guy's table, there are 2,000 calories. A burger. 500 calories. Another burger. <coughs> French fries and ice cream and a shake. <coughs> Blesses and hugs. It took this guy 10 minutes to down 2,000 calories. About a full day's worth of food for many people. 2,000 calories worth of Mackey D's in about 10 minutes-ish. But there are also people who consume 50,000. On YouTube, you will find endless mukbang videos where people sit in front of the camera and simply binge. That's also the meaning of mukbang. Broadcast. Eating. New ass. I, I. The most famous videos among them are the 10,000 calories challenge, uh, ooh, excuse me, 15,000, 20,000, 25, and even 50,000. Tomorrow, I gotta eat 50,000 calories. This guy right here attempted 50,000 calories in a single day, but eventually he managed to consume 46,468. But who's counting? Total calories. Put them right over there. Now this kind of content is a mess in and of itself. First of all, it pushes the person who films to shove unreasonable amounts of junk, damage himself, and by the end of the video to look like a pregnant woman in labor. USA! USA! But how do you see him? This guy's name is Adam Moran. Full name is Adam Moran, which I realize is one letter away from moron. That, that, that seems pretty appropriate given my choice of profession. Why? What's his choice of profession? Eating. But not your typical bowl of cereal. Here's an eating challenge he did last year. He walked into a restaurant and took on this. Three 10 inch pizzas, two burger patties in between, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. And each Krabby Patty here weighed about three pounds. Roughly about two and a half, three pounds a piece. Finish it all in under an hour? It's free. Fail? You'll spend 60 bucks and two days in the bathroom. Eventually, he managed to finish it all in 47 minutes. See this guy, Eric the Electric? That was the guy who attempted the 50,000 calorie challenge. Then there's this guy, Matt Stoney, a champion in competitive eating, who took first place in this contest 10 years ago and ate 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes. And just to put that in perspective, some people take longer to decide what to eat for breakfast. But here's what's fascinating. Despite consuming insane amounts of food, all of the guys that I showed you are completely thin. But how? Besides the fact that they all clicked on the subscribe button. So this study compared two people, an average person and a competitive eater. The average guy consumed seven hot dogs and felt like he wants to throw up, like this baby. And the competitive eater? He ate 36 hot dogs and he wasn't even full. Fluoroscopy scan, which is an x-ray to the stomach in real time, showed that his stomach could expand significantly more than the average person's, allowing him to pack in almost unlimited amounts of food. The average guy's stomach expanded slightly, barely making room for the hot dogs marked with arrows. But how? One way they do it is drinking huge amounts of liquid in a short time. But the thing this trained guy said... But there are certain dangers to especially doing it with water where unfortunately if you aren't careful, you could actually drown yourself. Is completely true. Because that's exactly why the woman that you saw in the beginning died. She suffered from hyponatremia, or in simple English, dangerously low sodium concentrations in the blood. Except in her case, she didn't lose sodium, because nothing left her body. Bathroom breaks, if you remember, were banned. She uh, consumed two gallons of water, I understand, right? She weren't allowed to go to the bathroom. That was the context. Right. But a massive amount of water entered her system and diluted the sodium levels too much, leaving her with fatal consequences. But if we go back again to the competitive eaters and to the million calorie question, how do these guys eat so much but stay so lean? So first of all, not all of them do. Take Nico Kado and his crew, for example. You know what I say when I, when I burp real big or fart real big? I'm releasing demons. <laughs> I'm releasing them demons. 
are the ones releasing demons. They eat massive amounts and don't lose weight. So how come the pros stay lean? Fast metabolism, drugs, medical condition, alien DNA. So in two words, calorie deficit. Remember the guy who ate the giant Krabby Patty? He showed a graph of his weekly calorie intake. So let me show you a crudely made graph. The blue and the green lines balance out 21,000 weekly calories, meaning he eats huge amounts on some days and then cuts back on others. Man, I fasted for nearly 40 hours, so filming this intro is gonna be torture. And see this guy who ate 36 hot dogs in 10 minutes from this study? In the study, he said that after a food competition, he simply doesn't eat for a couple of days until his stomach becomes flat again. Most of these guys also work out like crazy. For example, Eric the Electric, he once biked 200 miles, which is almost the distance between LA and Vegas. Which brings us to the next question. Can you burn 10,000 calories in a day? USA! USA! Some YouTubers try to do a double challenge, meaning they ate 10,000 calories and then tried to burn them, which is a flawed approach, but I'll expand on the topic in a sec. Did anyone manage to do that? So all of the ones who tried used a smartwatch to track the calories. Galaxy Watch, Apple Watch, Fitbit, Brad Pitt. The problem is, it's not precise. Smartwatches are great at telling time. They are very smart. They are okay at tracking heart rate, but they're as precise at measuring calorie burn as I am at measuring the sun's core temperature with my finger. Not that precise. You know how many millions of people watch me eat? Still, even with these huge inaccuracies, here's what they burned. One managed to burn almost 7,000 calories. 6,861 calories. One almost 8,000. 7,427. One almost 9,000. 8,744. And one, only one managed to burn above 10,000 calories. I burned about 10,036 calories in 17 and a half hours. And that's if we agree with the watch's measurement system. Considering we disagree, because it's it's not precise. Is there anyone in the world who has ever burned 10,000 calories in one day? And if so, how? So do you see this? This is a competition called 24 hours of adrenaline. A 24 hours straight cycling race. The goal? To do as many laps as possible in the mountains. The competitors don't sleep at all. Some don't even stop at all. But the premise is 24 hours of cycling non-stop. Sounds fun. But could this burn 10,000 calories? Going to burn 10,000 calories. There are three main precise ways to measure calorie burn. The first one being direct calorimetry, the second one indirect calorimetry, and the third one doubly labeled water. The first two require a lab, the third does not. Which is great because in the mountains, there are no labs. And that kind of measurement is exactly what was used in this study. There was one cyclist. He weighed 160 pounds, celebrated 41 years on earth, and went for a 24 hours ride non-stop. After 24 hours, the amount of calories he burned was 10,000. Or if you want to be exact, 9,795. But close enough. Meaning you can burn 10,000 calories in one day, but it will literally be a whole day. And even if it won't be exactly a day, it will still be an extreme aerobic activity. Which brings us to the last, last, last topic. The problem with calorie challenges. The whole I ate an X amount of calories, therefore I'll burn this exact amount videos. Eating 880 calorie crumble cookie, then running until I burn 880 calories. He's sometimes causing me to lose not a few calories, but a few brain cells. Because this whole mentality is a terrible way to think about food. First of all, it's easier to consume calories rather to burn them. <laughs> it's your fault. Exhibit A. That's exactly how you can potentially develop a bad relationship with food. That's exactly how you use a workout as a punishment of something you ate. Bio one, 119 calories burned. We got a lot left. Thinking of a certain food as good or bad can be linked with negative effects of eating behaviors and can even make it more difficult for you to lose weight. This is what we see in research again and again and the correlation is pretty consistent. It took me 57 minutes. Let me know, is the crumble cookie worth it or not? I say no. Second, statistically almost everybody who reports how many calories they consume are wrong. And funny enough, that also includes dietitians. So the chase after the number that is not even precise 7,427 is a waste of time. But it is recommended to involve aerobic training when it's not a part of an obsession. According to this meta-analysis, resistance training alone was linked to a 21% reduction in all-cause mortality. But combining resistance training and cardio, 40% reduction. So can you burn 10,000 calories in a day? Yes. Is there any point for that? No. Protein. Food challenges can be entertaining, but for some people they can negatively impact their eating habits. I'm releasing demons. <laughs> <laughs> releasing them demons. 
<laughs> so don't let what you see online mess with your mindset. Eat a balanced diet, train smart, and use your energy on things that actually matter, like clicking the subscribe button. Because that's one challenge you can actually win. I'll see you in the next one. Do you know how many millions of people watch me eat? <laughs>